We're going to follow these shells during their entire <laughs> travel. We Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Can I hit something at 45 kilometers? Yes. What the fuck? Holy smokes. Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Today, time to build a sniper. I know I've done sniper battleships before, but with the new 1.06 version, you can actually get ships which have a longer barrel than normal. So let's see what we can come up with, and I'm going to pick the Empire for Japan for this. The Empire of Japan, because they get the very, very good Pagoda Towers, which is going to give you all sorts of long-range bonuses. The enemy will be the British. They get two battleships and one destroyer. I also get a destroyer to spot for me. Because at 50,000 meter range, with these new guns, lo and behold, I might actually hit something. Let's get rid of this monstrosity. Um, the best hull form and the best stability is what I'm looking for. This currently has 88 stability. And I think that's the highest you can get on these platforms. Yeah, okay, so super battleship. Well, defenses are going to be pretty standard. Um, survivability to the max. Anti-flood, yes. Reinforced bulkheads, yes. All the oil. Just don't tell the Americans. We're going to get gas, uh, gear turbines, AUX4 for making sure I get the maximum damage control ability, as well as water pumping. Some slightly better steering gear and a balanced rudder with a standard crew quarters, elite crew, and I think more beam to make sure that I get an even stabler, more stabler, more stable, <laughs> sorry, to get an even more stable firing platform. There. Draft. The higher the hull is, the more of a wobbly platform it's going to be. So increasing your draft, generally not so good. A taller and consequentially larger hull is a less stable shooting platform. Uh, the operational range, blah, blah, blah. Okay, if I reduce this, because now I get 110 stability. I still get 110 stability, yeah, because they don't take that into account. Minus draft, plus 13 base accuracy, yes. Plus, uh, sorry, minus 12% accuracy from sea waves. More accuracy penalty, no, less accuracy penalty if I'm maneuvering. So yeah, this is going to be it. Now then... Main tower, the Super Pagoda Tower, 64% long range accuracy. Sorry, 60. Is that percent? Is that percentages or no? Not sure. It gives you plus 64 long range accuracy. But when I'm looking here, plus further 5% base accuracy, okay, always applies. 49 uh, for long range shooting, okay, it doesn't say why. And then we get. All sorts of accuracy modifiers, as well as aiming speed. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure. We're going to go for the stereoscopic rangefinder for even better uh, long-range rangefinding. This is also going to give me more accuracy. And acoustics is overrated. This is going to be useful, though. More gun aiming speed. Then, a secondary tower. That's going to give me the most long-range accuracy. 13, 12, 11, 9.5... Yeah, so it's this one. And I might not use a full ABX format. Because I don't think I will need it. If I can do this properly, I'll have no need for a lot of guns. Because the first couple of salvos are going to be rangefinding. And after that, it's just going to flat out hit and destroy the enemy ship. Uh, give me four spoilers there. Smoke interference should be nothing. Smoke here. Nah, mine's three and a half. If I go to balance boilers, it's none. This is going to be a bit of a debuff if I go for the less, or if I go for the smoke interference, but I don't need all my engine efficiency. I think 27 knots is fine. There we go. Right. Guns. Longer range guns. What is going to give me the best accuracy? I'm looking at 30,000 meter range, 
This is 1%, 1%, 1%. Yeah, it's all 1%, but that's without the modifiers. If I'm looking at, let's say, 20,000 meters, you get 2.8% with one barrel, 2.8, 2.7, and 2.4. So quadruple barrels are not ideal. Not ideal. I want to do a bit of a test. If I have one single and one dual barrel, and I increase their length, and I make that plus 20%. Then at 20,000 meters, this accuracy is going to be 17%. This accuracy at 20,000 meters is also going to be 17%. At 35,000 meters, I'm looking at 5% and I'm looking at 5% again. So I think double barrel versus single barrel doesn't really matter that much. That leads me to believe that the dual barrel in this case is superior. Um, now I wonder what happens if I increase diameter. Because you can get 20.9 inch barrels and that does not affect your accuracy. The... holy shit. My range is already 69 kilometers. 72? This is going to reduce gun range. This is going to improve gun range. Good god. Uh, yeah, more gun range. <laughs> 83 kilometers. <laughs> like I'll ever be able to use that. Hell no. What's my HE range? 75. Right. Okay, let's suppose for a moment that I'm firing um, a shell. 83 kilometer range. Right? 83 kilometer range. So that's 83,400 meters. An AP shell velocity of 983 meters per second means that the shell is going to be flying for 84 seconds. That's just shy of one and a half minutes of flight time. The reload on these guns is about... No, sorry, is more than three minutes. Wow. I can push it down to about a little over two minutes, but that's still an insane amount of reload. For these, it's probably going to be quite a lot worse. Yeah. For these, it's 167 seconds. What the hell? I think something needs to change about this version of the game. Watch this. I get dual barrel. AP range, 83.4. This is a quadruple 20.9mm gun, but it has less range. That makes no sense. 959 meters per second, 983 meters per second. Why do I get a different shell velocity with a gun that fires the exact same shells? That makes very little sense to me. Why is that? I think that's a bug. I doubt it's a feature. Now, 80 kilometer range seems fine. I mean, why not? I just wonder if I can nah, put enough guns on this ship. Probably not. Hold on. This does mean that I might be able to make the ship extremely low pitch. And pitch also works against you. I mean, the greater the pitch, the worse the accuracy. Uh, minus 4% base accuracy. Okay. The entire ship is also looking at a slight aft weight offset. What's your problem? The funnel is your problem. Pull this in. Closer. No, we're still aft. Aft heavy. Forward. Don't be like that. One and a half. Okay. Uh, probably because my... No, my aft belt isn't heavier. I can make my aft belt heavier. But I don't think I'm going to need a whole lot of aft belt or fore belt. Because I really don't plan to be any closer than 30 kilometers. Which means that the shells, depending on what the bridge use, are going to come in almost vertically. Something like that. Almost vertically. So, main deck is going to be far more of an issue. 
20 inches of main deck armor, uh, 20 inches of belt armor. Is there anything else that I would like? Yes, better turning on the turrets. Maximum barbette armor on my ship. Oh, hold on. It's going to reduce the pitch even more. I like it. We're still aft heavy. Come on. 0.8. Forward just a bit. The closer I can get everything, the lower the pitch is, the better the accuracy will be. I think this is very acceptable. Not as a <laughs> short range ship, but anything at longer range should work. Push these out a little bit. There we go. 0 0.74 weight offset. 13.2 pitch, 6.8 roll. Time to add more armor. Considering it is a long-range weapon, um, we get 22 inches of armor. Can we get another 10 inches of inner deck, then another 8 inch and another 6 inch. That is a lot of armor. It is entirely possible for ships to st for shells to still plunge through this 22 inch deck. It's not hard because at range, I should be able to go right through deck armor. I mean, the game only goes up to 35,000 meters, even though these guns have about, well, two and a half times that range. But over here, I'm already looking at 25 inches of armor pen with 8.5% accuracy. Jesus. Finding the enemies can be the hardest part. One inch of superstructure. Uh, I don't know, give me a bit more on the four belt or something. There. Okay. I think she's about ready. I have a hefty four belt. Oh, sorry, I have a hefty uh, armor belt in general. I could upgrade the inner belt a bit more. Let's say 10 inch. Yep. Five inch. Nope, too heavy. Four. Nope. Three. Nope. Three, yes. Okay, there we go. I don't need to perfectly max out this ship as fine as it is. This is the Choil. 20.9 inch sniper rifle. Let's see if it will actually shoot. Oh, hold on. I need to design a DD. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me just do this quickly. All right, here's our DD. Um, it is a very fast destroyer and it's mostly there to detect enemy ships. Maybe do a bit of torpedoing if I get to that range, but even with oxygen fueled torpedoes, my torpedo range is 23.2 kilometers, which when you're comparing that to the 80 kilometer range on the battleship is pretty much nothing. Now, um, very fast ship, 40 knots. It is geared towards torpedoing and doing a bit of torpedo or a bit of uh, gunfighting if required. She has sonar to detect enemy inbound torpedoes. She has generation three radar, coincidence rangefinder, and as mentioned, those oxygen fueled 24 inch torpedoes. This thing is going to be the spotter. The other one's going to be the shooter. The question is, is this tower good enough to spot? I don't know. What I did find a bit weird when I was designing this ship is that um, you have the draft. So that's how tall the ship is. I put it at lowest to make sure it is a small profile. When I was putting it on highest, I thought, well... If I have a higher ship, like a taller ship, that also means I have a taller tower, right? Taller tower means spotting range is going to be better. You'd think. 11,802 meters. 11,820, sorry, 820 meters on both. So how tall your ship is does not matter for how tall your radar is, apparently. Nor how good your spotting is. When it comes to the battleship, her spotting capability is 39,000 meters. And that, of course, also works out uh, slash with against the enemy's ability to spot me. Let's go. Let's see what the British have for us today. Well, <laughs> let's see eventually, because right now I have no idea. Oboro, have a look and tell me what I've been detected. 
Holy moly, you're far away. I mean, we start at 50,000 meter range, and apparently you can spot at that range. What the fuck? That should not be happening. I know I get all sorts of long-range bonuses, but being able to accurately hit something 50 kilometers away with a 20.9-inch projectile is insane. Please tell me this is not actually happening. Because if it is, then this needs balancing pretty damn soon. Now, I can just casually take a couple of screenshots of this ship, because by the time those shells land, you'll have filed your taxes and, I don't know, grown old, considering just how long those things take to reload. The enemy, by the way, also has range on me. With 14-inch guns, you get range on me? And you hit me as well? Good lord. Are there still shells of mine airborne, or no? If they are, they're gonna go really... Nope, that's one of theirs. At what point do we start firing cruise missiles at each other, I wonder? I've been shot at 22, 000, 22 times, and they've already hit me once? That's actually really impressive. At 14 kilometers. You just shot? Considering the barrels are lowering? Turn to port, Choyo. I want to see if this accuracy actually is as good as it is advertised. Because that would be absolutely... What the fuck? That would be absolutely crazy. I like how these shells are ricocheting off the deck, though. Look at this. Those shells came in. Ricocheted. They're blocked. That's why I have such a big deck armor. 22-inch main deck plus 140%. So we're looking at well over 45 inches of deck armor. If something pens the main deck... It still has a couple of additional decks to try and go through. Fire. <laughs> Show me your accuracy. We're gonna follow these shells. During their entire <laughs> travel. We Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Can I hit something at 45 kilometers? Yes. What the fuck? Holy smokes. That was the four belt, by the way. For 1700 damage. <sighs> This changes the entire meta of the game. Because if you just go for something that has all the long-range bonuses, apparently you can hit something 40 kilometers out accurately. Like, with 100% accuracy. This changes everything. And it's... That was not a fluke. That was not a fluke. Also, this ship is changing course. How can we accurately predict, at this range, where our shells need to go? I mean, look at this thing. This thing's turning, right? This ship was not in a turn by the time that I was firing. The game doesn't care. Overpen. Itchy shells fly even faster. 1,068 meters per second. With a potential damage of 5,752. Oh boy. I have taken some damage, but nothing too serious. And... It's not even my most expensive battleship ever. It's 900 million. 
I mean, that sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. Because I've built ships that are well over 2 billion. Boom. What? Uh okay. Good night, sweet prince. That was I, an HE hit right through the fore deck for two and a half thousand damage. Holy mother of god, these ships are deadly. Apparently you don't need more than one shell to actually eliminate a target. Now, let's go and torpedo this ship, shall we? Because I have not used torpedoes in this patch yet. And I want to see just how well they do. Apparently the AI still considers destroyers to be far more deadly than a battleship, which is sniping your ass at 35 kilometers. Here, we have another salvo airborne. We Stop. We're gonna miss one. That's fine, this is our first salvo against a new ship. These shells have not yet received that memo and are gonna hit the ship. Ah! <gasps> oh my god! That was the first salvo? What the fuck? That was the first salvo. No way in hell. Give me a different battleship design for the Brits. I want to see if this is a fluke or if this is just structural. If this is the new meta, because if it is, oh boy, we're going to have to do something about the accuracy of these new long barrels. The reload, yes, is not great, but the amount of accuracy and sheer devastation that you can unleash upon the enemy is ridiculous. It's also going to make the 1940s campaigns, well, pretty interesting is not really the word I would use, but... It's going to make them... What are you doing? It's going to make them pretty damn deadly. Go on. Find the enemy for me. We're going to start with an HE salvo. Because why not? I have spotted them. Choyo's guns are turning to fire. What do we have today? Somewhere on the horizon we have a couple of British ships. Which apparently have really small guns. 48 kilometers out. Gun size... 16.2 inch. They're not that small. They're not that small. Okay. Choyo. Show me that you can do it again. Yep, 100% accuracy. First salvo. Please. Blow up this ship. One shot. One salvo, that is. I'll take it. Look at the elevation of the guns, by the way. That's what a 20.9 inch sniper rifle looks like. Um, no scope, I might add. No scope. I mean, we got a radar. But... Is this gonna hit? No, I don't think so. So this accuracy is currently lying to me, this stat. Then again, it's a beta. It's fine. We're just testing shit. There's their DD. Bearing a new salvo. Oh, the destroyer's been detected. Come on. 46 kilometers out. 46-2. Shell's out. High explosive. Demolition coming your way. Here we go, here we go, here we go! Oh, God. Okay. This shit ain't fun anymore. <coughs> this is insane. This is insane. I can just cripple a ship from 45 kilometers out. With four guns. That's all I have. Four barrels. I mean, it's not a crazy amount of firepower. Well, numerically speaking. Yeah, you're dead, boy. No, you're not. Interesting. 
Effectively, though, this is a mission kill, because this ship has 50% damage and stability. What's your chance to... No, you probably can't shoot that far. How far can you shoot? 35 clicks out. So I suppose you have shorter barrels, then. Alright. There. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm happy about these changes. I mean, I love being able to build a sniper that's going to neutralize you at 45 kilometers out. But at the same time, if the AI gets their hands on that, it's pretty much GG for a campaign. Because it's going to be extremely hard to counter something like that. What is this spread? Like, are we trying to hit the same target? <laughs> what are you doing? Alright, switch fire, because I think this guy's going to be dead. It's probably turning, right? Yeah, we didn't care about your turning. What do you got left? Like, 0.1%? Today, and I shouldn't be alive. Um, oh, speaking of, my destroyer probably also shouldn't be alive. Smoke it up. You did. <laughs> See, this works both ways. Ah, oh, that was the hit on the battleship. There's just half the battleship is missing. Give me AP. See, oh god, no. Initially I was saying you got 25% or 25 inches of armor pen when you're going through the deck, which is not true. It's 97 inches. You get 25 inches of high explosive pen going through the deck. You don't need AP. All you need is one good HE salvo and you just cripple a ship. It's just gone. Shell's out. There. That's four and a half thousand damage. And Choyo hasn't taken a shot. <sighs> How much is your structural integrity? Because it really cannot be more than like half a percent. I really hope these battleships don't believe in reincarnation because I'm hitting them so hard that they'll be dead in the next life as well. Come on, 91%. Oh, you're firing back? Okay, humor me. What's your chance to pen me? Somewhere. 28%? That's pretty good. It's a lot higher than I was expecting, actually. Come on, 94. 95. <laughs> 97. Why are neither of these dead? Asking for a battleship. 99. 100. Fuck that shit, you're dead. You should be dead too. Formidable. Now we're getting unsinkable enemy battleships? Give me an AP salvo. You'd think that we're hitting their superstructure, well, their, their ship hard enough anyway. And the formidable... The formidable's not firing. She's lost a relatively low amount of her crew, considering the amount of damage that she's taken. Why are you not dead? Now we're dealing with unsinkable battleships. I think this patch might have some issues. This is why we're still in beta. Whoa! That's unfortunate. A little bit. Bye turret. It's been fun. What, the ship took one hit and died? I thought it was fairly well protected. <laughs> Two fires received. 
One flooding. Ammo? No ammo. No, it all exploded. Oh my god. Yeah. Seven overpens. Fifteen pens. Yeah. One shell was blocked. One partial pen against almost 48 inches of armor. One overpen against 24 inches of armor. And one ammo detonation against a 19.2 inches of armor. It's probably the turret. Isn't it? Yeah, I think top armor. Top armor of the turret. The new meta. I hope it's going to change, because this is really, really, really bad. The accuracy is too good. I don't want to be able to kill a ship at 45 kilometers out accurately with HE. It's too good. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And by the time that you're watching this, though, it might have already changed. It's a beta. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon for more.